Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. We're up in the UP and I'll tell you, no doubt, it is going to be a very special day today. We've got Isaac Lackish and Justin Snyder. We're going to go out and see how the pros use their electronics and hopefully catch a bunch of big walleyes. What we're going to probably end up doing is we're going to be fishing a lot of deep rock humps and we're going to be snap jigging with either glide baits or spoons. So I'm pretty excited. These guys no doubt got it dialed in and they're fun guys to fish with. So hold on to your hangies. Schneider! You didn't drink too much last night, did you? Oh, he doesn't drink. So now he's saying he doesn't drink, huh? Told me before he was hurting a little bit. Maybe he was hurting because he's been working so hard. Not. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody. Welcome back to our show. Hey, Isaac's the first one to hook up, and he just saw that fish on his live scope. Looks like a nice fish, too. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Not a Isaac. bad way to start the day. No, man. not bad at all. So Isaac, let's tell everybody exactly what you were doing and how you caught that fish. I mean, I just asked you, was, was, oh, yeah. it, was that a walleye on the screen? And you said, yep, it's right below us. And you basically just were basically vertical jigging for yep. that one. Yeah, I went straight up and down. I saw it on the locator and, uh, you know, dropped right on top of it. Gave it a couple real sharp snaps, you know, got that bait up in the water column a little bit. And then I went to snap it again and she was just on there. She went and pounced on it and smashed it in the bottom. You know, nice, nice uh, Lake Michigan, you know, Green Bay walleye for sure. What do you got there, buddy? Oh, we're going to find out. Ooh -hoo. There you go, bud. Nice, nice, nice. He that's might get eaten by some of the fish that live around here. Leader. You know, I just love the people in Michigan too much. I don't think I can keep nah, I wouldn't either. All right. See, when you fish with Isaac Lakich and he's live scoping, he sets up a cage. He put this net up and he said, the only way I can fish with them today is if I stay this far back from the live scope. Who well, doesn't want any bad juju? So, I don't know if it's a fair fight, but we'll just uh, see if I can catch up to him or not. Real good fish. You have definitely got the hot hand. Boy, I'll tell you, you have got them electronics absolutely dialed. And that makes such a huge difference. That, oh, 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 that's a toad, Isaac. Nice job, <laughs> Isaac. Giant. Give me some. Woo! That that's is, a that's a giant. That's a gorgeous fish. That's, that's definitely a giant fish. You think about 28, 29 yeah. incher for sure. Woo! That is something about warrior boats, especially this 2090. The amount of rod storage that you have yeah. is it, incredible. Oh, I've got, I mean, I've got, I mean, I got two rods out, and I bet you I have another 35 rods in here. You, you couldn't even tell there's 35 no. rods in this boat. You know, if you would have been talking like, if, if you would have had something like this, five, ten years ago, oh my God, you know? If, if you would even, ten years ago, if you would even said to somebody, hey, you know what? In ten years, they're, the locator's gonna be so good, you're gonna know exactly what kind of species that is, and you're gonna be able to pitch your bait to that fish and see your lure and see the fish come after it. They'd be like, yeah, whatever. When you mark them at 15 foot, you're like, they're at 15, let's put our baits at 13. Exactly, exactly, stay above them. We were out at Erie, and my buddy Ken Anderson was like, all these fish were marking at 15 foot. We're seeing out in front of the boat at 10. And there's 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 20 of them out in front of the boat and majority of them scatter to the side and the ones that don't scatter go down, go down to 15. So we started setting our baits at nine feet and it was game on. Whacking them, huh? So he, Isaac said to me, you're about to get hammered. And I just did a, a little bit of a, a twitch on it, and that fish absolutely smoked that bait. I've heard Isaac call his shot, but I've never seen Isaac tell somebody else, <laughs> hey, you're about to get a bite. Oh, come on, that's going. okay. Got to see it, that was, that was cool. But it's cool for somebody to say, yep, you're about to get bit. It's the thirst for knowledge, really, that's what keeps me going, you know. Guiding as many years as I've been guiding and fishing, you know, you just, you, you never get bored with it. You know, somebody asked me that, matter of fact, I've been asked that quite a few times. You know, when you're used to spending 300 days a year on the water, they ask, do you ever get bored with this? And 
Absolutely not. You know, it, it doesn't matter if it's fishing, hunting, um, you know, family life. You always want to try to better what you're doing, and there's always room for improvement. Oh, that, that Isaac, I'll tell you what, snare. Oh, wow, he off. Off. Well, he's got that rod bent right over. Oh, so, that's a good one. Something a little bit different you're using here, huh? And you never spot that's lock. A, that's a giant. Oh, nice. Oh, oh nice job. Woo. That is absolutely, no doubt, a giant walleye. And you're not hitting the bottom at all. No, nope, I'm just slow rolling that, that death jig right over, you know, the tops of the fish, the weeds, the rocks, a little bit of everything in this spot. It's usually like you feel a tap and then just wait. And you, you want to wait a second or two when you're using these death jigs. Okay. Um, if you set the hook right away, a lot of times it'll come off the they'll just nip the tail of the crawler off but if you give them a second to really engulf it they'll uh they'll choke it down pretty good so now let's show everybody how you're rigging that yeah so i'm gonna grab a fresh crawler this is live bait so not a you can run soft plastics i've caught them on like ringworms or you know gulp imitation crawlers gulp leeches all sorts of stuff on because here. let's talk a little bit too isaac now you and justin both fish head-to-head -head tournaments and let's talk a little bit about what a lot of people might not know what head-to-head -head is yeah so head-to-head -head is uh the pws walleye series is our new uh new walleye series you know format uh the head-to-head -head format came out about a year ago but it's all artificial only walleye fishing which is kind of new to the industry uh it's pushing us to you know come up with different techniques different styles it's pretty simple to rig i mean all i do i start about maybe four or five rings down the crawler so just down from the tip and then you're gonna thread this on the slow death hook on the back of these and you're gonna get it all the way up on there as far as you can possibly get it on top of that hook until it's basically a mess and then you're gonna pull that up that wire and then you're gonna take i nip the nose of the crawler then with one of the treble hooks ah uh, that's why you go four or five rings yes up you go yep because okay. that's where you can nip it right there yep and then i cut it about an inch and a half two inches behind the hook that back hook it just gives it a little bit less if you leave too much out there they tend to just eat the back yep, end the of back. it it's not a good one not a not a not well a it's big still what do you mean not a good one it's still like this no i said it's another good one. Oh, another good oh, one that's another sled oh man i thought you said a, not another good one oh, oh. Woo. Woo. Another. so isaac let's talk a little bit too you know you do a lot of you know on the boat basically schooling on yep. electronics and let's yep. talk a little bit about what actually that has in detail about that yeah so i mean i do uh you know day and one day classes basically it's a one day one-on-one -on -one lesson with me uh in the boat on how to really utilize your electronics to the maximum potential and you know come and find these green bay walleyes i mean that's another gorgeous 23 yeah, 24 awesome fish. fish so you know and i'll tell you the big difference is i, I mean back, no doubt what you have going you are super dialed in yeah oh yeah i mean it's one of those things where it's like i've gotten very comfortable with my electronics over the last couple of years i really know what i'm trying to look for and what i need to look for in order to find the you know we searched a lot this is our seventh or eighth spot this morning really i mean and you know we looked and looked and looked and finally saw what i really wanted to see which was you know a decent number of fish on an area and now we've gone through i think two three times hooked up a couple times lost a few caught a few like it's been a good little morning so you know just learning what you need to know about your electronics and, and really interpret what it's telling you is important for well you're success. watching that that jig come right in you yeah. see the fish behind it which has given you the confidence because that fish didn't hit it as it was coming in no it basically, i waited an extra couple seconds and that fish was right at the side of the boat and boink and it, you know and it's interesting because you know the water is super clear here this is really clear water up on this end and we're only in 10 to 14 feet of water so yep. you know that fish could see this boat oh I'm yeah 100 sure. percent. but for the, you know for that to be able to get that fish to hit in that clear water right underneath the boat is extremely impressive yep a lot of guys out here on green bay used to think for a long time and myself included that you had to make really long casts get the bait as far away as possible and i've realized over the last two to three years that that's simply not the truth because if you didn't have the electronics and have the confidence in the, the abilities right, right to know that fish was underneath you you'd have just pulled the bait up like you're saying and that would have been that yep you would pull it right away from that fish i mean that fish took an extra few seconds to kind of get convinced i wanted to eat that bait and 
you know, you know, having that confidence to just leave it down there and know that there's a fish there, it, it, that's everything it's huge. in the world. With, yeah. With, uh, the electronics have given me so much confidence, you know, to fish, you know, fish that I see and then also to just leave spots because they're not there. Boy, I'll tell you what, he is definitely schooling us and it <laughs> makes you want to just work harder and harder. But Hold on to your honeys. Yeah, keep after it. Keep after it. There's a bunch of them out there right now. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to interrupt you guys, but I'm like, they're out there, you guys. They're out there. <laughs> no, you're not really swimming at the are you? No, you're basically you just, just, just winding it. Got, got, you got one. Woo! Night up. Oh, ice Double. It. Double, double. Oh, triple. 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 <laughs> no way. Yeah. Yeah, we. Yeah, we. What do you got on? You got something going crazy. Mine's, mine's yeah, what did I get? Mine's a pike. Yours you got a pike. pike. I think you got a smallie. What? Yeah, well, small. Oh, I got pike. a smallie. What do you have? Big walleye, Isaac. Don't let us down. Big walleye. Big no walleye. No way. Walleye. This is crazy. Right Look at this, you guys. Look at. We all got something different on. What are the chances of that? So on that hump. And that is a cold walleye. Wow. On that hump, there was three. Oh, there goes your pike. I'll bet your walleye. Isaac. Unbelievable. Three different species at one time. And it's a toad. And it's a toad. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thanks for the net job, man. Hey, I'll tell you what. What an incredible morning we are having today. I can't talk enough about the learning curve here for me. Just to be able to learn all these new techniques. Learn that I really need to study my electronics more. And it really, what it's going to do is help me be a better fishing host and a better guide for sure oh, yeah. hey and learning from this young buck i thought these young guys are supposed to learn from us older guys hey dude i got vexlers that are older than you i'm right? sure you do <laughs> <laughs> holy man dude he is on fire to the point i don't want to net his fish i want to keep casting i gotta have some kind of chance get up there i'll net my own <laughs> well, that's what you guys do it head to head oh yeah I mean, we're, we're running with the probably a good 26 inch average for the day so far. Well, and you're in first place on head to head too, right? Yeah, for the angler of the year. Angler chase. of the year. I can see why he's in first place. No doubt. Holy man. Them are some absolutely giant fish. I'll tell you what, Isaac, you told me to slow down, and I slowed down, and that fish absolutely smashed it oh it's amazing when you start thinking about how sometimes that cadence has to be just absolutely perfect or you're not going to get bit you know you're thinking this clear water you the fish see the bait you know this is a nice fish all i did is just slowed it down isaac said slow it down Woo, that real is this a walleye holy man oh it's going to be a big one i can tell you that that's a nice fish nice job Woo! Oh, there yeah. you go. There you go. Hey, again, just dialing things in <laughs> is really what it's all about. And Isaac definitely is schooling us today. But you know, this is a, today has definitely been a big educational day for me. And just trying to get that cadence just perfect down. And as soon as I slowed it down, that bait started falling a little bit to bottom. And I was about a foot off the bottom, just absolutely smashed. Look where that hook is, right in the corner of the mouth right there. She's gone. That's what I love. I love seeing them go right back to where they came from. Oh, that's a streamer. I love the way these fish fight, too. Oh, God, it's so good. And tiny. Woo! That a boy, kid. Man. Skinny. Henry's putting a clinic on us. Welcome to the Isaac Lake. It's showing. Yeah, folks. wow. That's a resonant fish right there. Just because it's skinnier skinny. like that too, huh? This fish lives on this spot probably year round almost, never leaves, spawns right here, probably doesn't go within three or four miles of where we're at right now. Isaac is only casting when he sees fish. You know what? It's unbelievable. Like, I probably have 10 times more casts in today than he does, and, and he's got 10 times more fish than I have, yeah. right? So it definitely, when you have that much confidence in your electronics, that makes a, such a huge difference, oh, you know? Time. He's watching that bait go down, he's watching the fish following the bait, you know, and he's just reacting to how the small fish are acting. Yeah, small adjustments. And it makes and... a huge, huge difference. 
You're killing me! Sorry. Oh, I love it! Oh. You are yeah. I got weeds, you got fish. <laughs> Justin's trying to sabotage me yes. quick. Justin. He's enough. Let's not start knocking him off later. Right. That's a tank. Get that thing oh out. My God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoa. Slid to a new spot. First, you know, roll up onto the top of it. Pot of fish, cast up in there at the death jig. Boom, smoked him. So, another beautiful fish. Door, not Door County. We're not over there. Pure Michigan, I baby. Mean, sure, we're in pure door michigan built for fishermen built by fishermen um, really that says it all it's the family here it's it's not a big big conglomerate it's a family they treat you you feel like you're in a family you know when you put those two together an amazing product and amazing people it's just the type of company you want to be involved with not only because of just the great boats but because of the camaraderie that the warrior family has the customer service is amazing uh, they never leave you hanging so come join the Warrior family. Hey everybody, welcome to our Leroy lunch. I think I got Josh from the meeting place in Mayville. Mayville. You know what, I'll tell you what Josh, we've got the honey crisp brat. Okay, so we got the grill going outside. Let's go out there and throw them on there and show everybody how these babies cook up. Hey you guys, I'll tell you what, if you're looking for some fresh apples, I know our, our good friends over at Gold's is, they supply the apples for our brats. You can also get some great apples. I'm an apple fanatic. Mm. Thanks sir, for joining us on our Leroy Lunchtime. Back at it. Not a real big fish, but it's a fish. You know, again, Isaac said just cast over to my right, and he's watching them fish. He can see my bait going down. He's seen the fish follow the bait. It's incredible. Again, having like the right electronics. Thank you, Mr. Snyder. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. getting good at this netting thing. We're getting our butts kicked, buddy. Yeah, that's all right. It is, and we're learning a lot. Are you learning a lot? I'm learning a few things. That Isaac Lakich, you know, he's not bad at catching walleyes. I, I always called him Isaac Lakich. So you're saying it's Lakich. Well, if you like it, like it. You're saying it's Lakich, I'm saying like it. More like whackish. <laughs> he's whacking the fish like crazy. He, this. That's another nice one. Oh, oh, look at that fish. Oh, oh that is a dandy. This we is. We haven't caught a fish in deeper than 20 feet all day. Isn't that something? What's your favorite part about this 2090? Let's talk a little bit about the boat. I'm loving this 2090 really for that, you know, fishable space. Okay. Uh, you know, the full, you know, open layout design of the boat, it really caters to anyone that wants to do, you know, that, you know, when you're the type of person and I'm this kind of guy where I, I typically fish with usually one or two other people. So like for that guy who fishes with three people, doesn't, you know, bring groups of five or six out, that kind of thing, this is just the ultimate fishing machine. Um, it's a monster in rough water. It's gonna handle anything that the Great Lakes can throw at you. Um, you know, we're here on Green Bay today, and, and it's a calm day, but even if it was four footers out here, we could still get around and get to the places we needed to go if we wanted to. You know what I love about it too? I love about it. today you're absolutely kicking my hiney. But it's not so bad when it's part of your family that kicks your hiney. God, boy, he smoked that. Just gave it a little pop, like you said. Just absolutely throttled it. It's something when you can see them fish come right up oh, yeah. and, and just grab them. Grab them you know, it reminds me again of like fish ice fishing with the Bexlar. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Okay. That is <laughs> super. Woo! I'm loving it. You know what? What I'm loving today, I'm loving because I'm learning a lot. And again, that's what really what it's all about when it comes to fishing. No doubt, it's always, you're always learning. Big old Slimer, back to the depth she goes. Isaac and I were superheroes. He'd be Batman and I'd be Robin, and I, he would just sick me in charge of the pike while he gets the walleyes. Just sitting here eating. Isaac's doing the catching, I'm doing the eating. Larry's doing the uh, converse, the talking. the talking. We're all having a great a good day. Good team, yeah. right? Oh, right in the net he jumped. What a great way to end the day today. I'll tell you what, we had an amazing day today. We caught, well, let me tell you something. Isaac definitely caught the bulk of the fish today. Justin and I, we just kind of picked up the scraps, huh, buddy? 
Yeah, you know, we're gonna get them pike out of the way. Yeah, get the pike and the smallmouth out of the way. You know what? Hey, Isaac, let's tell everybody how they can get a hold of you if they wanna do one of your classes on the live scope. For sure. I mean, if you guys wanna do a live scope lesson, if you wanna come out here and really learn how to utilize these electronics, uh, feel free to message me on uh, Facebook or Instagram, Isaac Lockage Fishing. You guys are both in the championship for head to head. Let's talk a little bit about that and when it's gonna be and how they can watch you. Yeah, uh, you guys will be able to go on uh, to Facebook, YouTube, or head to head fishing dot com uh check us out i think it's what week i think it's october 11th it's second week in october yeah right around then second and you can see that live too right yep it's all live uh you're gonna be able to watch all 16 of the uh top anglers for the pws y series competing against each other in straight up head-to-head -head format should be a fun time you know it's all about having fun and we certainly had a lot of fun make sure you guys check out all of our social media especially our podcast that comes out every tuesday we eat fish eat we we want to give special thanks to all of our, our military people, past and present, and no doubt all of our law enforcement agencies. Remember, as of today, we are still living in the greatest country in the world, and it is a great day to be alive. Let's let this guy go. He's gone. See ya! Oh, I would have offered you one, but I thought you were on a f***ing diet. Justin Schneider, welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. <laughs> That's what happens if you don't. Oh! That's what happens if you don't have wave pro. Isaac Lake is just my daddy today. A little bit of an age gap there, but yeah. I can still call you. Yeah.